beautiful people. So, okay, I'm live. I think I'm live. I'm live. I'm going in. It doesn't matter. So, today on Instagram, yes, I have an Instagram account. Same name, you are creators. Check it out. Um, I did a video on reality and how reality really isn't what we think it is. I'm sorry about that. that was Eric calling. Um, yeah, so the subject of this YouTube live video is, are we living in a simulation? What is reality? And I'm here to tell you from my personal experience, from my personal research and my understanding, yes, for sure, 100%, this is a simulation. But you are the creator of the simulation. You are the creator of your life, but this world we live in really isn't solid. None of this is really real. And I know that sounds really crazy. Sounds really bizarre. But none of this is real. This right here, this, this, this metal rail, it, it's energy. This wall is energy. This 3D reality that we live in really is a simulation. Believe it or not, your soul was never born and your soul can never die. Your soul is literally what you call God. You are a piece of God. Everything is. Planet Earth is like one big stage play. And we are the actors on the stage. This is one of the reasons why we shouldn't take things too serious because this is a play. This is, this is a mere simulation that we all agreed to come down here to participate in, to create. But the good thing about this world being a simulation is you are the creator of your simulation and collectively, as mass consciousness and mass thought, we create the vibration of the world together. You are the creator of your life, but collectively we create the mass vibration on planet Earth. We are the creators here. This is our playground. Planet Earth is a playground. Now, some people play in love. Some people play in fear, but we're playing here. And after you leave this, this 3D reality, you're gonna realize exactly what I said is true. You're gonna realize that, oh, well, this was all a play. This was a dream within a dream within a dream. None of this was serious. The stress that you were going through, it's a ripple in time. This is simply a simulation that you agreed to play in. We all did. But I'm telling you that you can control the simulation and you control it with the energy that you put out. Like your vibration, your mood controls the energy around you. Your belief system alters the Simulation, I know I sound crazy, but those that know what I'm talking about get it. None of this is real, none of this is real. And I understand this on a deep subconscious level. None of this is real, this is just smoke and mirrors. But the beauty of it is we can create anything we want. We can create heaven for ourselves here 
or we can create hell based on the energy that we are putting out, based on our thought forms. See, thoughts are alive. When you think a thought, you actually created a thought form that lasts forever, that goes out forever. Your thoughts are forever. But the beauty is you can think whatever you want to think, right? You can visualize whatever you want to visualize. You can hold any image in your mind. And by doing that, you, Im you imprint and impress those thought forms on reality. What you're looking at is my thought form, right? So, I, so this house right here, this is just energy. But this is my thought form. For years, listen guys, no BS. For years, I visualized living in a house like this. I even sent Erica a picture of a home with the exact foyer, with the, you know, marble floors and a double whatever. This is my thought form. This is my thought form. I'm not special. I'm a creator just like you're a creator. But I know how to hold my thoughts and tend to them with emotion and conviction and believe that they're mine. And by time, everything eventually manifests. You are powerful beyond measure. This reality really isn't serious. This is a game. This is a game. I'm telling you, when you die, which is actually nonsense because nobody really dies. Nobody dies. You can't destroy energy. It only transforms. Okay? So you can't destroy energy. So, okay. When you die, you're going to see, oh my God. This reality was nothing but a dream. Nothing but a simulation. It's not that serious. I say all of this to, to tell you to enjoy your experience. Create whatever you want on this planet. Create whatever you desire. Enjoy your experience. It's not that serious. I know some of you are dealing with illnesses. Some of you are dealing with debt problems. Since you are the creator of your life, if you created it, you can get rid of it. You can create something else. You're never stuck. You're powerful beyond measure. This isn't real. This door, there's no reason why my hand shouldn't go through this door. It's simply energy. It's simply energy. But I believe that our belief system somehow, somehow alters the simulation. That's how powerful you are. Your belief system alters the simulation around us. What you believe somehow makes its way out into this physical world. But take it easy. Take it easy. Take it easy. Everything's going to be okay. Everything, everything always works out. That's what I realized. Everything always works out if you are in the right mindset. If you're in the right vibration, if you accept it and, and expect it to work out, everything always works out. But this is a simulation. You're powerful beyond measure. Create whatever you want. I'm not special. I'm not, you know, some type of guru guy. I'm a regular dude from Chicago. But I understand how to use these universal laws to manipulate the physical world around me. Thoughts really do become things. You really are creating your reality. This isn't BS. You know, I'm not selling you nothing. This is just me, you know, just like talking. You create your reality. This world is, is so easy to mold. Energy is so easy to manipulate because your thoughts are doing it. Your consciousness is manipulating the world around you. Your feelings are manipulating the world around you. You can create whatever you desire. If you want to be rich, put out that energy. See yourself as rich. And I guarantee you, five years from now, 
you will see your world will have transformed to what you have saw it. That's how it works, man. Somebody said trust fund, baby. Bro, listen, I'm from Chicago, from the south side of Chicago. I ain't no trust fund, baby. What you talking about, man? Anyway, trust, trust fund, baby. You crazy? Trust fund, baby. Man. Anyway, you know, I apologize for that. Um, but yeah, um, you know, I'm going to answer some questions for you. Mm. Hello, Justin. So listen, guys. I like to sit back and really think. Like really, really, really think. And I like to like understand how things are happening around us. One of my greatest thrills is making life work for me. Because so long life was working against me. But now life is working for me because I understand how to direct my energy. Thoughts are energy. Words are energy. Feelings are energy. Action is energy. If you direct all four, you will manifest whatever you want. Simple. Not always easy, but it's simple. These laws are simple. Master the universal laws of attraction, of creation, of manifestation. You're powerful beyond measure. All right. I'm about to answer some questions from, from, from people really fast. Also, there seems to be a intelligence in the universe. There seems to be uh, something working on our behalf. So in a sense, we are co-creating a reality with each other, but also with, with what people call God or the universe or infinite intelligence. Our job is to broadcast what we want, think about what we want, visualize what we want, talk about what we want, act, act as if we have it. And the universe's job is to orchestrate the events surrounding the manifestation. That's the job of the universe, to kind of organize things, but things happen in divine timing. Meaning you can't rush the process. I understand that we live in a right now society. Like everything is happening way faster than it was 50 years ago. I get it. But manifestation cannot be rushed. You cannot rush the process. Sorry, you can't. Things manifest exactly when they should and how they should. Trust in the universe. Trust in God. Trust in this infinite intelligence that is somehow guiding you from, from within. The inner voice that is nudging you and steering you in the right direction. Listen to that voice. Listen to it. It will never steer you wrong. You are powerful, powerful creator beings. Since most people don't know this information, Most people are creating a vibration of fear on the planet. This planet seems to be overrun with fear. And since fear is in people's hearts, people are manifesting more fear. I am here, me and, you know, thousands of other souls are here just to shed some light and let you know that you can choose Love instead of fear. And if you choose love, everything you always wanted will come to you. Happiness, peace of mind, money, bliss, prosperity. Love brings you everything. You, love brings you everything you want. 
and fear brings you everything you don't want. We need to understand that we are the creators of this dimension, of this simulation. What are you creating? What are you creating? Because none of this is really real. None of this is real. I recognize it. Listen, listen, listen. I peeped game a long time ago. Ain't none of this real. I remember telling Erica, my wife Erica, I said, this world feels as if it's a dream within a dream within a dream. As if, like, I know none of this is really happening. But it is, but it's not. I don't know. I don't want to sound too crazy. But <laughs> I love y'all. Um, for those of you that have signed up to youarecreators.tv, thank you so much for supporting me. I love y'all so much. Um, I'm writing a fifth book. And you're going to love it. I don't know the title yet, but I started writing it, like automatic writing. So you're going to love it. Be on the lookout for that. Um, I'm about to go. Have a beautiful Monday. Create. So Mondays are, are so special because Mondays are a fresh beginning, a brand new beginning. Mondays are important. Create a beautiful week, but let it start with Monday. I love you guys. I got to go. Peace.